We're back to give you the legal edge. With Thanksgiving over, the holiday lights and bright Christmas displays are going up now, but how much is too much? Well, it all comes down to local ordinances, rules drafted just to apply for cities and townships, or maybe even a condo association or neighborhood association bylaws. Attorney Brian Waldman from the Sinus Dramus Law Firm has more. So if people are concerned about what they're allowed to do, they should look uh, locally. And if they violate, say, a, an, an ordinance, typically that's going to be a civil infraction, a relatively small fine, $150 or less. Uh, the laws that have gotten attention, for example, I recall a, a year or two ago, there was a, a person in Florida that was protesting, I think, a $150 ticket because he wanted to put his holiday decorations up six days before his local ordinance allowed it. Last year, Ann Arbor got a lot of attention. Uh, because it adopted a light ordinance, which is becoming more and more common, particularly in, in northern Michigan, where people care about the quality of, of the skies and, and, and they look to something called sky glow and put limitations on businesses shining big lights upward and ruining the view of the sky and the stars. There's also something called light trespass that is addressed in these statutes which, you know, I, when I first heard it, I actually thought I didn't realize there were degrees of trespass and, and this was just a light trespass. But light trespass actually means someone shining their lights from one piece of property onto another piece. The, the classic example would be a very strong floodlight that shines into a neighbor, you know, say above a garage that floods into a neighbor's bedroom. And, and keeps that person awake at night. And that's understandable that cities would want to regulate that conduct. So there are light ordinances that limit the amount of light that can be used and, and, and floods over, particularly into neighbors' property. And so in that type of situation, the law says that, uh, you know, for example, in Ann Arbor, there are exceptions for, for temporary light installations and they give the example of holiday or Christmas decorations in the ordinance and say as long as you don't do things like keep it up for longer than 90 days during a calendar year you have to have it completely shut down from midnight to 6 a.m it won't be a, a violation of the ordinance uh, but like any type of of kind of dispute between neighbors if that's the reason you're looking to find out what the law is my advice is always don't make it a legal dispute if you can avoid it talk to your neighbor See if you can work things out. 